How's it going? Welcome back to DylanPickups.com. This is Dylan Talks Tone. Check us out on our YouTube channel at Dylan Pickups, and you can find me anywhere uh, on the internet, really, at Dylan Pickups. So I want to talk about shielding today. It's come up on the internet, uh, you know, it comes up all the time. Um, and of course, everybody, you know, you, you put shielding paint or you put shielding copper foil, foil tape in your guitar and you ground it and it helps reduce noise. But it seems like a lot of people um, have a lot of different approaches to how to do the same thing, which is cool. Uh, however, uh, there are a few things that it's really helpful to know uh, so that you do it effectively no matter what material you use. Yesterday there was a, a discussion on the internet about whether to use aluminum foil or not. It works great. Uh, the only downside to it is is that you have to ground it differently because you can't solder to it. So that, that brought this up again and I was like, well, let's just talk about what shielding actually does. It's important to understand what you're shielding against, okay? Um, we have a video at the Dylan, on the Dylan Pickups channel called 60 Hertz Hum versus EMI or RFI. Go and watch that video because there is a difference about where your noise comes from on your guitar. Today we're going to talk about EMI or RFI, which is radio frequency interference or electromagnetic interference. Uh, a good example of that would be the CFL bulbs that I have lighting my studio right now uh, are anything that has an electromagnetic coil in it, like a transformer, to work is going to give you EMI. So neon lights, uh, other appliances like my TV, I have an older TV in one of my spare rooms, uh, any of that kind of stuff. Now no matter what circuit you put that on in your house, you're always going to end up hearing it or you can end up hearing it in your guitar. The reason for that is, is the electromagnetic interference that comes off of a transformer or a, an electromagnet, electromagnetic interference, travels through the air in waves, just like sound or light, okay? It's at a different frequency and it's at a, in a different range, so obviously we don't see it or hear it, but it is nevertheless traveling through the air uh, like sound. So when it hits our guitar, the coils in our guitar, in fact, here, let me grab a pickup. Um, so when it hits the coil in our guitar, our guitar ends up becoming basically a radio antenna because it is many, many windings, uh, very similar to uh, the cheap AM antenna that you get. If you buy a stereo, they'll give you this little like plastic ring with wires wrapped around it, okay? And then you plug that in and it's just wires and you plug it in and then you pick up AM stations. Your pickup ends up becoming the same exact thing because it's picking up radio frequency or electromagnetic interference. Now it doesn't always come in as a radio station, although it can, it usually comes in as some sort of hum or buzz, okay? Because these lights are making a buzz and it's usually at 60 hertz. That's why people get confused. Go watch that other video about 60 hertz versus EMI. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to capture the radio frequency interference, the electromagnetic interference and bleed it off to ground. The way I want to explain this is um, a satellite dish in your, uh, you know, that like, your, uh, like your, your TV satellite dish. It is doing exactly the opposite of what we're trying to do. That dish is basically uh, capturing radio frequencies and then there is more or less a guitar pickup. It's called an LNA or an, uh, an LNB, a low noise antenna. And that dish is capturing those and it is putting it in front of that amplifier. It's called a low noise amplifier, amplifying that signal and sending it to your cable box or your, your, your satellite box, okay? So what happens is the guitar basically becomes the same thing. It captures that, that pickup captures that low noise interference and then sends it to your amp and amplifies it and that's what you hear. So what we wanna do is we wanna create a satellite dish more or less that instead of capturing it and sending it to the pickup, captures it and bleeds it off immediately to ground so that it cannot be amplified. See, a lot of people think that when we put shielding in a guitar that we're grounding everything and we're making everything quiet. 
But what we're actually trying to do is capture that LNA or that, uh, that, R, that, that RFI or EMI, that electromagnetic interference, and send it somewhere else other than to our pickup. Okay, so that's really what we're trying to do. Now, there's a few different ways to do that. Uh, and, and a lot of people say, well, I need to create a complete Faraday cage in order to do that. No, you don't. It's the most effective way, absolutely. To completely shield a component from RFI or EMI, to create a complete Faraday cage around that object is the way to do it. But we can't do that because we have a, a guitar pickup and we need the strings to be above there and you know you can't put it in a box. So, what we're doing is we're basically creating a satellite dish, but instead of sending the noise to the pickup, we're sending the noise to ground, okay? So, this is what we're doing. So, when we, when we take a guitar, and I got a Telecaster uh, build here in front of me, and I was gonna shield this one this morning anyway, uh, I've done a couple of things here. I've put shielding tape in, and I like using copper shielding tape, to tell you the truth, uh, copper shielding tape in the bridge pickup cavity in the control cavity. Now I will tell you I did this just so I wouldn't break the internet. I believe that it is more important. Um, well, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I, shield this cavity if you want. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, and then what I did here is instead of shielding the cavity where the pickup is, I shielded the entire back of this pickguard. Because what are we trying to do? We're trying to create more or less a satellite dish for all that EMI, putting it to the back of this pick guard and bleeding it off the ground. Now on a guitar that you don't have a pick guard, you're basically stuck with just the area around the pickups, okay? A good example of this, and you've probably seen it on my YouTube channel and all over the place, is that aluminum top telly that I have. That thing is dead quiet because it's basically a big satellite dish for that EMI sends it off the ground, the thing's really, really quiet, even though it has two P90s in it. Although my P90s are really quiet anyway, but. So there's a few things to know about what kind of shielding you're using. Now, uh, shielding paint, uh, all you really have to do is run a screw into it and run it to something grounded on your guitar, okay? That's, that's a fairly simple, simple situation. But every zone of shielding paint must be grounded. If you have a, an area that is shielded, say your neck pickup cavity, and it is not grounded, connected to your main ground somehow, it will not act as a shield because you have to bleed that RMI off to ground, okay? If it doesn't have a ground to go to, it's not a shield, okay? So, we need to ground the back of this pick guard. Well, the easiest way for me to do that was to take a copper piece of tape, run it down into here, and then when I put my, um, uh, control plate on there, it will ground. Okay, that's what I did with this one. Um, now, the other thing is, glue on shielding paint, especially if you buy it where I buy it, because I actually buy uh, lawn and garden shielding tape, because it's cheaper, it's exactly the same thing, but the only thing is, the glue is not conductive. So what you can do is you can take and put just a dot of solder on the seam in between each of your, your tape joints in here and do that on everything. That way everything has complete continuity from any shielding point in the guitar to ground. Now you've made as big of a quote unquote satellite dish as you can. That EMI will be, will go to that satellite dish, quote unquote satellite dish, and be bled off to ground. Now it won't obviously eliminate it completely because the pickups are always gonna pick up a little bit, but the majority of it isn't going straight to the pickups as it would if you did not have this. So again, the main thing is, is that you're trying to bleed that RMI or EMI off to ground. You're trying to bleed it off to ground. It doesn't mean that you have to have a wire going to every, every little thing. Um, what I did on the back of this pick guard because there's seams in it is again I just put a little dot of solder in between each thing so that this acts as one big shield and the bigger surface area you can get it's just like a satellite dish the bigger surface area you can get uh, away with using on your guitar the more you're going to capture as long as it's well grounded so that's really all you need to know if you use tin foil uh, tin foil is conductive inside and out and all over the place and you could just smash it in here 
Um, you know, you could just smash it in here and then just trim off the edges and then just run a screw into it. Um, the only downside to it is, well, there really is no downside. I mean, it's super cheap. It's just a little messy looking, but, um, but yeah, there's really no downside to it. Um, it's cracks and it's a little harder to work with, but you could just smash it in here, do the same thing, but you're going to have to run a screw with a wire to each piece. Like on this Telecaster, you would have to run a, a screw with a wire to each piece so that everything touches where with this stuff, you can just put a dot of solder on it and you don't have to have any wires. So that's it, man. Shielding. Just remember that, that you're trying to capture something in the air and bleed it off the ground. Give it a place to go. The shortest path to ground is always the best, obviously. And uh, that'll keep your guitar quiet, as quiet as possible anyway. This is Dylan with Dylan Pickups. If you have any questions, you let us know at DylanPickups.com, Facebook.com slash Dylan Pickups, YouTube.com slash Dylan Pickups, Instagram, the whole place. If you have any questions at all that from this, you let me know and we will talk to you later.